The ninth is the second of the par five, and it's a great risk-reward hole where you can expect plenty of drama come Ryder Cup week. There are lakes short here left and right that are only going to trouble the likes of you and I for the pros, their mere visuals. What they're more concerned with is avoiding the bunkers that will stop them getting up in two. And if they do choose to attack the green in two, they must be aware of the lake on the right and bunkers there too. Anything leaking away to the right is going to end up in trouble. Well, I'm standing on the ninth fairway at a point where some of the drives might end up. This is about 320 from the tee, which sounds a long way, but it uh, is landing on a downslope, the drive, so it will get a bit of a shoot forward. But even from here, you've still got a shot of 260 yards into the green. And as you can see, there's danger all around. Anything leaking right is away into that lake. You just have to be hoping that you've got enough of it to get it up into that right-hand bunker. So here's the dilemma facing the players. Do you attack? Do you play safe and go for a birdie, the conventional route? Uh, obviously the match situation will dictate that to a degree, but I'm sure there'll be plenty that do take a pop at this in two. The ninth green complex is a great one for a risk-reward par five uh, because if you do go for it in two and don't quite make it, the up and downs aren't too difficult from around this green. There are runoffs all round at the front, quite a gentle slope, over to the left a steeper swale and on the right here a big bunker but this bunker is not too difficult for the uh, tour pros and they'll be fancying their chances of getting up and down nine times out of ten from in there. Those that do lay up will lay back fully because if they don't there are three bunkers that would just leave them that really awkward 70-80 yard bunker shot.